So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your very first tutorial for WebSockets and uh, in the series what we are gonna do is we're gonna take a look at what these WebSockets are and how you can make use of WebSockets to develop pretty cool applications which communicate with each other in real time unlike you kind of load a web page it takes some time but with sockets it's just real time just like you do chatting so it's kind of real time or you know calling somebody well what sockets are actually is that uh, you are using sockets all the time you don't um, you know realize that but uh, even if you're opening a website like can I use .com, you are opening actually a socket on port 80 right so http protocol works on port 80 https works on port 443 and so on so these port numbers and the ip address technically this is just a domain name but it has an ip address is kind of forms a socket right and you can create a program which listens on the socket so on your server on this on this website server what there is is that there's a program which is listening on port 80 right and whenever it gets a request it sends back some data depending upon what user wants right so sockets in one or other way work in a similar manner right so what sockets do is that you can actually keep a socket alive between a server and a client so a socket can be thought of as a tunnel between your computer and the other remote computer or server which is connected all the time as long as you know you want or the server wants so you can just flow in and flow out data out of it just like you need so there are various kind of protocols on which your socket could work like TCP or UDP but we're going to talk about that later so what happens is that on the web JavaScript has access to web sockets which it can use to communicate with this other server right and uh, therefore this technology makes it pretty easy and handy to create real-time applications like if you are streaming a video from your camera you can use sockets to transfer your video over your I don't know maybe your LAN network to you know make sure everybody in the LAN network has access to what you are recording with your camera live right and uh, you can do many other things like you can just stream your video on your LAN with the help of I guess VLC also has that feature so yeah you can do that so yeah that's all pretty much what sockets are and uh, from the next tutorial onwards what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at how we can implement web sockets with JavaScript on the web and with node on the back end right so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching I'll see you then in the next one